Hi, everybody. Hi. Danielle and Rochelle. <laughs> Here from Godiva Secret Wigs at our studio in Southern California. And we're so happy you're joining us. Yes. We have a little party going on. Yeah, so here behind us, let's see which way we'll see. We have some friends here. Everybody come over here and give a quick wave. Let's just do a test. Can someone write, can you see us? Yes, can you see us? Yes or no? <laughs> yes, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. Okay, yes. Doris, come here. So we're going to be live for a few hours. I know you know Doris. Remember Hi, from girl. the video. Hi, girls. <laughs> hey. So throughout the next few hours, we'll have different clients coming over saying hi. You can ask them questions. Also, I'll be reading questions with them here and there. Um, also, we are excited to debut our brand new makeup line, Moodiful Makeup, which we are both wearing right now. <laughs> so we will bring over some samples to show you in just maybe, you know, 10 minutes or so. Um, and we'll just kind of be turning the camera so you can say hi. I'll try and look at questions every so often, um, but may not be sitting here the whole time. Yeah. So I see Sheila in the background in black and white. <laughs> yeah. She, come here. Here's say Sheila. hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you know, she <laughs> has so much fun. <laughs> getting to see everybody trying on some beautiful new wigs, <laughs> colors. <laughs> We're having a good time. By the way, what wig are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing Selma in... Uh, Silverstone. Silver Silver Stone. Stone. Oh, loving, and loving it. Rochelle is wearing Jenna with roots in Irish Spice. And for her makeup, she's wearing our Copper Glaze Eyeshadow Palette. Yes. Which we'll show you a little bit. See you later. And then I am wearing our 22 inch top with bangs with roots in Coffee Latte R. And then I have on our Coffee Latte Eyeshadow Palette. There's a lot of action so, going on, but yes. I do want to share that Danielle and I have been working on this eyeshadow idea. I've had a bucket list a couple of years ago, a page long, and I sat Danielle down at lunch one day, and I said, well, there's so many things I still want to accomplish, and one of them was a makeup line to be able to to work with the moods of whatever color I want to be, right? I want to be a redhead or a blonde and thought you would like that too. So we created Moodiful. So we created Moodiful Makeup. My amazing daughter came up with the name and so many women and I was lost too buying eyeshadow when I'm a redhead or when I want to wear gray or rooted. And so we really strategically, we've been working on this. This was on my bucket list. And today is our unveiling. And we will be making videos. But if you're typically a blonde, but you want to be a brunette, then we have all different palettes, a three-pack palettes. And, oh, my goodness. What am, I don't even know what to show you right now. But they're paraffin-free and talc-free. And they, they flip up and down so they're easy. You're not going to lose any any tops. <laughs> oh, Danielle. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I said 10 minutes I lied. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> and it is all on our website right now. So if you want to try it out, like I said, we haven't made any videos yet, but it is available um, under accessories. You'll see, I think it says mascara gray and makeup. You'll find it all there. Yeah. So we're so happy to be with you and ask us any questions. I'm going to be coming and going and we'll bring some other of our Facebook uh, members yes. are here and um, just having a fun day. And Sandra, I am wearing our 22 inch top with bangs, a top piece in the coffee latte R color. And Rochelle was wearing the Jenna with roots wig in Irish spice. So if you have questions, I'll keep kind of trying, trying to come back and forth. And I actually made a video this morning when I put on my makeup showing all the different makeup of ours that I put on. I used the this pink glow. She might have already showed you this. I don't know. This pink glow. And it was so great for just like under my cheeks, my forehead, my neck, all over. And then there's a highlighter, this golden glow. Shimmer. And so, have a seat. Oh, come on in. What are you going to do? Find me a man? Well, I don't know. Ask them. Put it out there. 
So this is Lynn. I think, how did you find out about today, Lynn? Lynn's wearing a free from here. Not Mega. My friend, my, my very good friend uh -huh. told me about this place and I love it. And I love this wig and I'm contemplating and getting it in red. So Lynn normally wears a deep red color. But today, for fun, she saw this and tried it on. And I first saw it. Well, it is a change, but I don't know if I could say what I was thinking. Well, keep it like PG at least. I don't know. It's got some good stories. I don't know. I feel like I could be walking down the street with some odd people. So I don't know if I'd really get the straight. Maybe this not this color. color for you. I like the red. Yes, I would like a red because it fits my person. Right. And how did you get into wearing wigs? Yeah. What made you start wearing wigs? Very good question. A friend of mine was another friend that was wearing wigs all the time and I was commenting about you know how she looked and then my hair you know being like a little bit older than 22 years old uh, I thought to myself I'm getting a little thin at the top so I went ahead and I started with one wig two wigs now I have five wigs awesome. and by the time I get out of here today I'll be having probably 25 wigs <laughs> Of and then I never stuff. have to be concerned about losing my hair. Right. And all, are all your wigs red or are they different colors too? <laughs> they're all in the red family, but there is one that has highlights. It is a little bit darker, which I don't wear it a lot okay. because I'm not crazy about the color, okay. but I am a typical redhead. Okay. My personality certainly is conducive to a red She's quite smoky. Um, Sandra was asking, what is this wig? This is Freedom with Roots in Nutmeg F. This is Freedom with Roots. It has a darker root here. Yes, I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah, so that root, my friend told that me that. Right? Yeah. Especially, and like for me, if I wear a blonde wig, I have to wear it with roots because my eyebrows are so dark. You wear blonde? Oh, yeah. Because I would never dye it. This is minor dark, so I would never dye my hair blonde. But I love the long blonde wigs, but I make sure I have them with roots. That way it makes sense. Um, someone was asking. Well, my friends are saying that it, the blonde looks good on me. I'm just not used to totally, it. Totally, it's totally different. Uh, yeah. just, Absolutely. I just really can't get over it. Yeah. No, it looks great. <laughs> you should put on your red so they can see the red. Yeah. I'm gonna put on the red yeah. now. Yeah. Go get it. Yeah. I can get it for you if you want. Right there. I'll do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, are you okay changing in front, or do you want to, you want to whip it off right here? <laughs> um, someone asked, do we have white top pieces? Yes, we do do uh, quite a few different top pieces in white. I think it's like the medium top, mono medium top, uh, long tops being made in white, mono long top. Here it goes. There's some short ones. Too. Don't get scared. All right. Look at that, ladies. Would you have known she was red? They got to shake, shake, shake first. Yes. Because I like it wild. Right. So this is the wig Lynn came in with. This is her normal, more of her normal red color. So what do you think, ladies? The red, the blonde, both? What do you think? I want to I want to hear the comments. Oh, thank you, Sandra. This is actually a top piece, the 22-inch top with bangs. It's my favorite. Linda said they like both. Everyone likes both. They like both. Well, yeah. I just want to know, do I look sexy? Absolutely. Everyone's saying both. You love, they love them all. Both. You can rock it off. Both, 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 both. Blonde, red. Yeah. I love both. It's just, where, where are you getting these pants? Oh, they're right here on the side. I want to see. Yeah. I'll read them for you. 
Oh yeah. What does it say? I can't. Read. Uh, both, 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 red, both, 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 red, blonde, both, both, red. So they're all here. It says the person's name, and then let's say go for both and mix it up. Stephanie said. They're all talking to you. Well, I think I have to walk the streets for a while. Maybe and just, maybe just walk the streets. And then I'll sit. <laughs> thank you, Lynn. Feel so, free to come so back by and say hi later. Thank you. I'm going to put this on again. Okay. Am I done? Yeah, I mean, if you want to be. Am I done? Yeah, if you want to be. We're just hanging out. <laughs> oh, see. I don't know why I'm looking there. I could be. Yeah, see, I'm just used to that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, but this looks good. It's fun to drink. I think yours is in too to come over and say hi. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> We have a line of people coming to say hi and talk to you. Well, it's up to you. You know, it's a personal taste. It's a personal taste. It's a personal taste. I personally like this one to make my and we're not used to you in any certain color, so it's easier for us to see you in a oh, different Oh, yeah, 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 you know? that's right, yeah. that's right. Okay, your turn. Drum roll, here comes Doris, who you may recognize from some of our videos. Yep. Hi, Doris, talk to the ladies. Hi. I was on recently where I changed my outfits, and I had all different wigs to go with each outfit, and I explain how important it is not to hang around in your bathrobe and your slippers and to just get dressed in a lounge outfit and put on a wig with a little makeup it makes you feel great. Right. And you just tried our new makeup, right? Yes. I just, I'm playing with the makeup and I love the way it opens up my eyes. Yeah. The different colors. The different colors, yeah. Especially I have green eyes, but I mean really green, green eyes. And if I use a little of that mauve kind of color, the mauve opens up your eye yeah. with the green. I yeah, I love it. Now you're right. This looks like Christy and champagne. I think. Yes, yeah. it is. Okay. It's Christy and champagne. Very good. You know, <laughs> after a few years. Yeah, right. yeah I love Christy. I have Christy in three different colors. And I just love Christy. It's fantastic. It's so easy. In fact, I just watched it the other day. For the first time, I was afraid to wash it, no, but no, like, you can't be afraid to wash your Just wig. use cold water and you're That's good. That's it. Um, I, Stephanie just asked, you suggest what colors your new makeup goes with each wig. I'm so glad you asked. So the reason we made these specific color palettes, you'll see these three-piece palettes, they're called Coffee Latte Brown Palette, Creamy Toffee Blonde Palette, Silver Stone Gray Palette. There's 10 different palettes. And those are made specifically to work with our wig colors and enhance the wig color and just make the full illusion. So say it's the creamy toffee blonde palette, that is perfect for any lighter blonde wig colors. Or the chestnut red palette is good for any deeper red colors. The smoky frost gray palette is good for the darker gray. So we made, like I said, 10 palettes that are perfect. It's a no brainer. You just, you have a silver stone wig, you get the silver stone eyeshadow palette. Um, and then, like I said, we have some of the other, like two different blushes, Two different shimmers. They're really they go with like most complexion. And your like, eyeliner. And the eyeliner, yes, which I'm, I I love eyeliner. The yeah. eyeliner is in brown um, and black. Yeah, yeah, we have brown and black. Thank you. Yeah. So that the eyeshadow palettes are very easy. We do sell the eyeshadows individual, but the three pack palettes are no brainers in my opinion. Um, let's see if there's any other. Is there any other questions for me? Any questions that we have for Doris specifically? Um, what wig is behind me on my right? Your right? My right. Somewhere. What color is the wig? Linda, what color is the wig? Bottom rail brown. That is Peggy and Marble Brown. A short line of that one. That's Peggy and Marble Brown. So any questions for Doris before I before I leave? <laughs> any questions? Any questions for Doris? No. 
I think we're it. So maybe I'll bring her back later. Maybe she'll put on something else. Nice meeting you all. So someone asked what color eyeshadow for almond roca. So you could kind of do the coffee latte palette or the marble brown palette. Either one would really be good. Um, like I'm wearing the coffee latte top piece. I have the coffee latte palette on, but it's going to just be a little deeper than the marble. Okay. Right. I have Stephanie here. She looks terrible on camera. Hello. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Hi, so what are you wearing? Well, this is the 22. We're wearing the same piece. Oh, it looks really so much too. better on you. No. <laughs> so Stephanie's wearing the same piece as me, the 22-inch top with bangs, but hers is in silver. Right. Yeah. And I struggle with a few things. Like I have a lower hairline, okay. and, and the hair is kind of darker there for summer, but I have perfect silver stone wow. on the end. Amazing. If I didn't... Yeah, if you were here, I would not know. This is me. Wow, and this is me. Yeah, so so good. so you know, but it, it it is kind of a struggle because you know how do I do this? I tried the headband thing and it didn't work. Out. Okay. So I, I think eventually what I'll do is trim the bangs. Okay. And then just use something like this. Yeah, yeah, I had that. And how long have you, do you only wear pieces or do you wear wigs? Oh, I wear everything. Everything. Okay. Everything. 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 And how long have you been wearing wigs slash pieces? Let's see. I started that in the, during the pandemic, okay. like as far as every day, <laughs> because I had a lot of Zoom meetings and I had like, yes, no time to prepare. And then, but I did wear wigs prior to that. Like I was telling your mother, like, you were just a kid and she, this is back to Peggy work here. It was, my children were at Louisville. That's how long we've got my children around and have their own children. And so I've been, a, I've been a, a, a customer for a very long time. The best wigs ever. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any tips you want to share with our wonderful audience? Um, Everyone's saying you look great, by the way. Oh, you're very sweet. Oh, someone would love to see the back. Oh, sure, of course. I'm not sure how well yeah, it just turns out. How it looks now. Yeah, just nice and long, straight. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, this. Oh, well, these headbands are kind of nice. These are from. They're called square bands. Okay. And they really fold up like sunglasses. Oh. And they have teeth. And what they really do is hold the wig in place. I wouldn't wear oh, them with my. Yeah, square so, bands. Square bands, okay. okay, and they, you know, they're pretty proud of them, but but uh, I think it's worth it, you know. Yeah. And all you need is a couple, right? So these are very helpful. Um, but I have I have full wigs. I I have. The and you only wear gray, or do you wear different colors? Only gray. Yeah, yeah. When I was before I grayed, you know, before that I was uh, as dark as you are, and so I had pieces. Yeah, you know, like full wigs. Yeah. Maybe. So. You know, that's 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 it. That is so sweet. Everyone's saying you look great. They like your glasses. Oh. Um, it's Stephanie's topper attached by clips, and does it feel secure? Yes, and yes. Someone said you that you should try our makeup. Maybe. I am going to try that. Yeah. Really, I, I, you know, Maybe if we put a little on her here, we'll see later. Maybe we'll bring her back. Yeah, I know. Now. I look terrible. Well, you know well, what? Someone said you're very well put together. I was I I didn't fully make up because I knew makeup was here. I wasn't sure if I should do yeah, that or I if I should that. not do no, that. No, I'm so glad. And you know, well, maybe have I'm, Rochelle put it on you in front of them. Well, if she wants to, that's yeah, fine because we'll I, you know, I I was ready to purchase. I was, you know, yeah, yeah. anything that I can do to help. You know, yeah. and, and our I, makeup is available on the website for purchase right now. Mm -hmm. um, you can look up Moodiful, M O O D I F U L. Okay, um, just in the search, and all the makeup will come up. Wonderful. Or if you click under accessories and go to mask gray and makeup all of it's there you can see all the colors the different palettes and mm -hmm. everything oh look for the uk oh my goodness this is yeah, worldwide i know exciting. holly k woo um the headband nice. is neat looks nice good evening from the uk hi everybody thank you thank you yeah so maybe in a little while we'll put some uh makeup on stephanie yeah i know i need blush lipstick i need the whole thing we've got it all we don't have lipstick actually we haven't yeah. gone there yet but well we do have the blushes i tend to run out the door without it i do know, too always i, I always I well you've got the twins. my mom always says uh lipstick oh, you've yeah. got the twins i've got a puppy <laughs> I, I just retired in june and got a puppy about a month later and, oh, man. Uh, it's like just as hard as baby oh it's thing. like your twins and they were toddlers only four legs and one yeah. faster thank you very much yeah so we'll have Stephanie come back in a little bit and show the Silverstone palette. Um, 
There is nothing that was waiting, so let me go tell her. Oh, cool, thank you. Someone else is on her way. Oh, so Stephanie would love if you want to put an eyeshadow on her own camera. She purposely did not wear eye makeup. Okay. So I'm going to put... But this is Laura, and she's got some great stories to okay. share okay. with her. We actually had one once in Thousand Oaks a million years ago. Yeah. I just, I just, I just, no, no, I wanted to put on some lipstick before I got on here. <laughs> well, get pretty. Well, you're on, honey. I'm on. I'm on. And I used to be on TV, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Years, many years ago. What did you do? Um, I was a rock and roll journalist, so I did MTV of Europe, sort of. The, it was called Music Box. Anyway, I can't find my lipstick, so it doesn't matter. Hi. So um, for the Facebook people, I'm on the page and I comment all the time, so I'm sure they'll. So the first thing. Laura Gross, ladies. Laura Gross. Do you see her on the Facebook community all the time now? Yeah, you see me all the time. <laughs> now this is me in, in not person, still not in person, but, but close, moving, close, yeah. moving. Getting close. So, um, so my first story that Michelle wanted me to tell. Yep. Was, as you as you charge your phone, they're charging yep. their phones. Very important. Very, very important. Got to keep this going. Got to keep it going. Um, so, is that since I joined the face, I always, I'm going to take my purse off too. Yeah, so, get um, I have had wigs. I'll tell you my wig story first, then I'll tell you my face story. Okay. So, many years ago, eight maybe or so, I was invited to this Bill Clinton event. And I had a really, really small um, skin cancer on my head, right at my hairline. Really small, but the bandage was really big. And I thought, I can't go to this Bill Clinton event looking at, you know, this <laughs> gigantic thing. So I'm going to go, you know, and I looked it up, and Godiva's was in Thousand Oaks, really near my house so at that time, brick and mortar. And I went in there, and Donna, the wonderful, wonderful Donna was there, and I said to her, I'm going to this event. I'm never going to wear wigs again. I just need so something that will work that isn't super expensive for the one time I'm ever going to wear a wig. And so I got this topper, and I went to the event, and I thought, this is really cool. Maybe I'll wear this a little more often. And now I have 18 wigs, <laughs> and I've been wearing them ever since, and my hair's gotten a lot thinner since then. So that's an added plus that I already knew, you know, what to do. Uh -huh. And um, and that's, so, and I, the 18 wigs I have are the 18 wigs I have in my house. I've had many wigs that I have, you know, at the end of their life. Right. I retire wash them place. and retire them and then donate them. Oh. And then if I get a wig that, you know, I'll wear it a few times and I'm just like, I didn't really love it. I donate that. So I've probably bought 25 of them, but I love them. And this is um, Alana and Marvel Brown. And I usually kept the bangs like this straight, right? But this one, I did the side bang too. She kind of, anyway, it works either way, but I kind of like it this way. And I feel like, is it even? It just looks like even in here. No, so I my, think it looks good. Okay, my Facebook story. Yes. Danny likes what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just, you know, know someone know. said, people are saying they recognize you from the group. They've seen you a lot of times on there. Debbie yes. said she just counted, she owns 44 wigs. Oh my God. <laughs> Congratulations. That's awesome. Yes. So my Facebook story is, I joined the Facebook page right away, and I love, love, love the Facebook page, right? It's so much fun. I'm addicted to it. I, I am, it too. every day. Well, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, what did I miss last time? And I told Michelle, I said, not only is it really fun and wonderful, but it's a really good business idea, because since I joined the Facebook page, I have bought four new Oh, wow. Because, you know, you don't, I used to be able to go to the store and try them on. Yeah. And now you can't do that, but you can see on the Facebook page, you can see how they look and see other colors right. and kind of go, oh, okay. And so everyone that I bought, with the exception of one, which some of you who know, who are on the Facebook page, I bought a cap with the... With the hair. Yeah. Okay. And, and dark. Not your thing. It was dark. It was dark chocolate. Is that the It just so did. And, and I asked you ladies for opinions, and all but one of you said, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> Which is, the honest. And then I had it, I had it cut and styled at my hairdressers, just thinking, well, maybe this will work, right? Um, so, so I brought it today. They're going to donate it to Civil oh, Hope. So good. it's oh, never, it's never wasted. Like if you buy something, you, I mean, again, you know, it depends on your financial situation. You can't just throw money away. But if you buy something 
and you decide you can't wear it, you've already worn it, you can't return it, you know, it's your donation. So you're still spending your money in a, a really good way. Can I show my nails? Absolutely. Oh, those are so cute. These are my Halloween oh, yeah. nails. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, yeah. We have a witch. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. This is the right here. Why am I? Okay, that's the it's skeleton. I'm doing it's it's mirror image. I know. That's the skeleton. That's an alien. That's a demon rising out of the flames. This is a cat. And this, let's see if I can do it. A little ghost. He's upside down. a little ghost. My nails. And then we have a witch's hat. Dracula teeth. This is a pumpkin. This is an eyeball, which is hilarious when I put my contacts in. Eyeball to eyeball. And this, it's hard to do it that way, is a bat. It's a bat. So my uh, manicure is hand painted. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? But anyway, I think um, about the wigs. Like, hey, I'm really, really glad I found they love the their secret hands. wigs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love them too. And it only took like an hour and 15 minutes. She only charged her $45. Wow. I gave her a very big tip. This is very time intensive. It's artistry. But, you know, my hair has been so much since that first, um, you know, Bill Clinton event experience. And I was so glad that I had, you know, good Ivy Secret wigs to go to. Because now, I mean, my hair is actually really pretty. Do you ever wear your own hair? Or just I do. I wear my own hair. Like at home, I okay. never wear a wig at home. I know people who write like, I wear my wigs at home, but not out. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. really, I never wear my wig at home. Yeah. Just, you know, it's kind of like the bra. I mean, I wear my bras at home, but you know how you get home from a really long day. The first thing you do is take your bra. Yeah. I went somewhere once, someone I knew really well, we were sitting talking and I said to her, my bra is really bothering me. And I slid it out through, through my sleeve and she said, <laughs> it was like a typical move. But so when I come home, I do take my wig off. But yeah. And the other thing is, my wigs used to always slide up. And I found out about the wig grip band. And that is working really well. Okay, good. So, yeah. Which which color is this? Is this that? is the coffee latte on 2020 top I have, Oh, it's a top piece. So this is just the top. So this is my hair. Oh, because I have coffee latte in the old score. I, yes. Those of you who are on the Facebook page, yeah, I've mentioned yeah. the old school. That was always my favorite wig. And Alana's the like closest I've Yeah, to. Aria is very close too. Okay, I have yeah. to try that sometimes. Yeah. And, and then yeah. I like coffee latte, and I have this. I have a few in chestnut. Should I tell a really fun story about? Sure. Okay, since nobody's. In, yeah. Okay, so I have a Jenna that's long and. It's in chestnut. It's very pretty. I almost never wear it. It's anyway. So I went to an event. This is a few years ago, but I'm a woman of a certain age, and it was an NFL like fashion show where the NFL players were the models. Oh wow! And there was a very very gorgeous NFL. I mean, they all look pretty good, but there was a particularly gorgeous NFL player who um, Donna was just recalling the story with me. Donna used to be the saleswoman in business. And um, I thought he was flirting with her. And he was at least 25 or maybe 30 years younger. So I thought, I'm just making this up. This is just, you know, I just, I obviously have gone into a dream world where gorgeous men flirt with me. And uh, so I said to my friend who I was with, He's kind of pay attention and see what you think. And she said, Oh my god, Laura, there's like flames coming out when he's looking at you. And so um I thought, well, I'm gonna but I really blame I blame or credit the wig because it was really pretty and it was very sexy and it did make me look younger, as they do. And uh so I went over and talked to him and I had like Maybe 45 minutes where we just talk, which is all it should have been because, you know, it's not a really smart idea to just meet some guy and, but, you know, some young, gorgeous NFL. But um, we had this really interesting conversation. He had an autistic child. I have autistic godchildren. So, you know, it became much more than just like, um, like he was gorgeous and I don't know what he saw in me, but I'm not, I'm not putting myself down. It was just like, I'm a lot older than him, a lot older than him. But I still think it was the wig. <laughs> or it was part. Maybe part. Maybe I could take, part. Yeah, maybe I could take a little bit. I got to take yeah. some. 
I mean, it was me under the wig. Right. It was the wig wasn't hiding my whole face. So. Right. So I think I've told my wig stories. Thank you. Oh, and my brother. I do have to tell my brother. <laughs> Never likes my wigs. Really? Never. And I said to him with this one, which is pretty new. I said, "What do you think?" And he said. I like the older, funnier sissy. He calls me sissy still. And it's it's a line from a Woody Allen okay. movie where they say, I like his older, funnier movies. Got it. So it's like, I like the older, funnier sissy. And I said, you know, the one who had a lot more hair? And he goes, yeah. I said, I liked her too. <laughs> she was younger, but I do love my wigs. I think if I suddenly like some, by the way, if you ladies have hair growth ideas, put them on the Facebook page. Because if I if that happened, I would still wear my wigs. But um, I am using this um, thing that I found on the web, of course, called Ween, and it hasn't helped my hair grow on my head at all, not even a little. And I'm into two months, almost at three months, but the hair on my legs. And under my arms, oh, no. <laughs> where I don't need Perfect. it. Perfect. So I just thought, well, if it's causing that, I'm going to keep trying. Maybe it'll, Maybe eventually, it'll eventually, you know, it'll just go. Oh, I'm going to miss. I was in the wrong direction. Yeah. Once but, it's fulfilled there, it'll just work its way up. Yeah. Do you have any questions as the moderator of this? Um, I would say, if anybody have any questions for Laura before she gets going while she's here, active. Um, and while you write your question, just quickly. And she's talking about our Facebook group. So if those of you who are not on it, on Facebook, we have a group called Godiva Secret Wig Community. It only started like two months ago. We already have 4,000 people on there. And it is the most fun, active, supportive. I mean, it is the most amazing group. Like I said, like I am addicted to the group. I'm always on there commenting, liking, looking. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's so, awesome. I mean, yeah, and it's, it's for awesome. my mom and I, I mean, it's just so fulfilling to actually get to talk to our clients yeah. and see them and be more one-on-one -on -one than just being just the company. And we get to like talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, which is really cool. So if you're it's, not on there, be sure to go. It is time. really, really awesome. And, and the, the support. And also I love reading the stories about how people, their hair loss, what they're going through, because, you know, you feel sort of isolated when it's right, happening. You, right. know, you get out of the shower and there's this clump of hair, right. you know, and you think, oh, oh, you know, and then you go on there and you go, oh, it's happening to so many right. people. Right, it's like you feel not alone anymore. Right, like right, the, the okay, yeah. right, right. Yeah. It's, it's really, if you're watching and you're not on there, you should be on it. And then you'll buy more wigs because that's what happened to me, far more. <laughs> and how long did you say, two months? Yeah, it's only been two months. But, um, someone just said, what's the best idea for keeping your pieces secure? Do you wear any pieces or do you wear some, right? I have some, but I really, I really don't wear them. I, the wig grip band has made a big difference to me because my hair used to come back, and then I, I usually wear a full bang, so I would say I look like the little Dutch boy, you know. And now the wig grip band has solved that for me. And I think, no, my friend actually told me about that. I didn't learn about that. Someone said they just ordered the Silverstone palette eyeshadow and eyebrow color. It looks so pretty. Awesome. Thanks, Wendy. That's so exciting. They're over there, right? They're yeah, there. I brought a few over here because I was going to show them. Yeah. Yeah. So they match the hair? Is that yeah, so literally we have a palette called Marble Brown. So like for a marble brown wig, you just get the marble brown eyeshadow palette. It just makes it easy. So Rochelle and I spent so much time with the wigs on, figuring, researching, figuring out what eyeshadow colors work the best with, with, with the wig colors. And then we made them into palettes so that it's a no brainer. You know, you're like, oh, today I'm gonna wear my chestnut wig. Let me grab my chestnut eyeshadow palette or my marble brown and my marble brown palette and silverstone and silverstone palette. So just trying to make it easy because a lot of people too, they love changing their wig color. I do. But they don't necessarily have the different eyeshadows to enhance and make it like a realistic look. Interesting. And so this way, Way. it's really easy what I was saying too is um, a lot of times the darkest color or the middle color you could just throw a little on your eyebrows also to just like help create the illusion right, right. so we just wanted to make something easy I have yeah I have chestnut I have nutmeg I have champagne R, okay. I have marble brown H yeah. I have ginger H I might have a few others but yeah and we made 10 palettes so it's not every color but it's the color family so like the creamy toffee blonde palette works for any light blondes or the chestnut works for any of the darker reds um so like I said it's it's we have a nutmeg F palette so any of those more kind of strawberry blondes. Um, so yeah, check it out and give us your feedback too on them. Like I said, we just put them online yesterday. You're the first to actually even know they're available. We haven't put out anything saying they're available yet. 
Um, so I would love any feedback. Also on the Facebook group, you have feedback. You can put it there too. You know what's so fun about being here is you don't know, like I didn't know you're short. <laughs> I mean, and you're beautiful. But you're bold, short. Right like, now, I am tall. You are uh, tall. You're the tallest one. But I went to a business event the other day, and a guy I've literally been working with for three or four years, and I've seen on Zoom dozens of times. I've never seen him in person. Six foot five. He stood up from the table, and I was like, oh, my God. I mean, there is something about actually seeing people in person. That's I am five three. Rochelle's about five two, we'll say. No, not I was anymore. To, I was to I'm on my way downward. I was Me trying too. to be nice. Well, I was 5'9 when I grew like to normal adult height, and now I'm 5'8 okay. because I'm shrinking. Yeah. Well, no matter how tall we are, our legs look darn good. It's absolutely so true. Ask what shade is your mom using? So she's wearing, her wig is Irish Spice, but the palette she's wearing is the Copper Glaze palette. You can get in there close. The Copper Glaze, beautiful palette. And which one are you wearing? Uh, the Coffee Latte palette. Okay. So somebody said, what color, what palette for English toffee? I would probably say the Marble Brown palette, I think would be nice for that. Um, well, I can't wait to see that. I'm going to go over and look yeah, at the eyeshadows. Yes. And um, it was really nice talking to you. And a lot of you I get to see and, you know, engage yeah. with on the page. And I just love all of you and the support and the community. It's really, it's really it is it was such a great idea. Thank you. I can, and yeah. good for business, too. I mean, it's yeah, really positive it. and fun. But I'm sure, like me, many people are buying more Yeah. Because you get to see them on other people's well, Right. I said to my mom the other day, I said, imagine, like, in a year what it's going to be like. It's only been two months. Yeah, no, it'll be it's great. So cool. It'll be massive. As they say no. in England, it's mega. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah, seeing you all. Oh, thank you. Thanks for learning. And now you get to do it all by yourself. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to take a water break. So I will maybe send somebody else over in just one second. Right back. So, I have to put my glasses on. I have to take this moment to say hi to you because Danielle is helping me check things off my bucket list because it's so important to do what we want to do and do what's our passion. And all of us ladies today here, we are smiling and we are giggling and having the best, best time. So I want to thank you all for joining us. And let's see if we can see what else is going on here. So this is our studio. This was our retail store. Wendy, I'm so glad you like our community page. And let's see what's going on over here. So we have our there, our top 20 wigs. And so we've got clients. They're flipping their wigs right now. There's Sheila. Sheila's my sister. And she used to work at the store here in Southern California. So she is running the clients today that are loving seeing, you know, they're seeing each other. And we've got delicious meatballs. <laughs> and that is Connie. And I'm going to get her over here. She looks good in every style. And I put Christy on her in chocolate frost. Amazing. And uh, Freedom in the Moonlight Bar. Wow, 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 wow. So that's what's happening here. And this is where I shoot the videos. Let's see. Hi, Kathy. I am wearing Jenna. And this color is um, Irish Spice R because it's got the roots. And I love, every time I put a wig on, I just love switching the sides to see how do I like it. I didn't have time to sew clips in, so I just threw some bobby pins on each side. But 
I'm so excited about our new eyeshadows. So Sheila, want to come join us? Come have a seat. So my sissy's going to come join us right now. I gotta put my glasses on because I know you're gonna write. So this is my sister Sheila, and I know you've seen us make some videos. So what do you want to say to everybody? I want to say hi everybody. This is so much fun. So much fun to try everything on and check the colors and hear all the all the news. <laughs> all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. Hey, please let us know so I can tell Sheila, and I'm curious too, what part of the world are you in? Because I know we're going to surprise her right now. So these are all different people. Okay. Lisa Marie, you just went to order Jenna. Oh, creamy blonde. I like it. I like it. Hi, Terry. Good to see you. Hope you come here sometime. Now, you know, this one of the... Great. This communication is terrific. <laughs> I got to teach Sheila how to get on Facebook because... When I visit her sometimes now, I'll get her on and show her, and I post pictures of her. What are we going to do? I know, but I'm loving my new look. So what wig are you wearing, Sheila? I'm wearing Selma in Silverstone, and I can't take it off. I love it. She said she feels glamorous, and isn't that what's so important? You look hot. I love it. We're going to go... Uh, Go to Four Seasons and have a drink tonight somewhere and pick up some hot men. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you're from the um oh piano forte. I always answer your comments. You're in Louisiana. In Miami awesome. Beach. Kat is in Miami Beach. And Michigan. Oh, Kathy's in Kentucky. Oh, Donna's in St. Charles, Missouri. Love the Facebook page. Oh, you have Freedom and Katie and Ginger Brown. Sheila, awesome. I love you in your new color palette. Oh, thank Marilyn. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you. Sometimes you try a new color and you're not sure that it's going to fit into maybe your wardrobe or the way people see you. Um, I just kind of go for what feels good to me. You know, Sheila used to be jet, you, not jet black. Espresso, but you were, espresso. Espresso. Wow. How many years ago was that? A long time. So Sheila worked in our stores for over 10 years and you were always dark, dark, dark. Always dark. And always so very short. Then you went from espresso, you went to maybe dark chocolate or... Oh, that and then I went into the reds, kind of a brownish, like ginger brown. Ginger brown. We were in ginger brown for yeah. a while. So that was that's the progression when we talk about how do you go from very dark to gray. Well, it was it was steps. It was a couple of years for you, maybe five years at least, at least. But I love changing up the color and changing up the style. That's the, the fun of wearing wigs. Linda, Chicago, Rhea from Sarasota, Florida. Terry, I'm glad you like that copper glaze. And look at my eyes. So, so much fun to have makeup to match and so much fun to share. I mean, Sheila didn't even know. Today is the day that we're sharing our beautiful makeup. And I'm looking forward to getting in into it and giving it all a try. Beautiful yeah. colors. You know, ladies, you can create anything you want to create, but you have to be willing to think about out of the box first. So every day, think about something that you haven't done yet and just play with the thinking of it. And I mean, we never would have come up with a makeup line, but it's like, okay, if I'm playing in my head, what would I like? I'd like makeup to match our wigs. So whatever color I wear, I can, I can have eyeshadows and blushes to go with. So anyway, I digress. Taking the attention and how, off my and how, sister. And how nice you can do that to have it match the wig. It just seems you go into a store and you look for cosmetics and you try to get colors you think are going to work. This works instantly with your wig. Yeah. Wow, Judith in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have Carly in Ginger Brown and Alana in Marble Brown H. Love those choices. Linda, you wear petites. 
and you have a seamstress that works on wigs if you can't get a petite. That is so great. And I've been saying that too. And you can even have them watch one of Danielle's videos on how to make a, a wig smaller or larger. <laughs> and if you're afraid to do it, that doesn't mean it can't be done. So bravo to you for, for doing that, Linda. Love it. Linda from Colorado. Hey. And Shireen from Shireen Egypt. From Egypt. Oh my gosh. Everybody, we've got Shireen from Egypt here live right now. Come and say hi, everybody. <laughs> We've got Connie. Hi. We have people from all over the U.S. Oh this is Donna. Donna used to work for us uh, for over 10 years. Amazing. And so we're so glad to be here sharing our estrogen with all of you today. Yes, yes. Anything you want to say about your no. wigs? I love. I have eight right now. I have two on my list. <laughs> two on my list. So, it's and growing. what wig are you wearing, Tyra? I'm wearing Tyra in uh, Silverstone. Beautiful. I'm telling you, with Connie, we put anything, any color on her, and it works amazing. So, thank you. Thank you. Share that. We're going to sit you down in this chair a little bit later. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so, thanks. Wow. When seeing the response as far as the wig I'm wearing, and I appreciate all of your input and thank you and i really do appreciate the kind words great and the price for the wigs our pieces started about 30 dollars and up everything we carry is high quality synthetic we do not carry human hair because our business model is about ease and convenience our wigs start about 150 and they go up under 400. most of our clients end up asking for wigs you know instead of for your birthdays and holidays and anniversaries people don't know what to get you now our clients say hey honey or hey buy me a gift certificate from godiva's secret you put them all together and then get something you really love so our clients own two to 20 and 30 and 40 we're expecting more women coming in here today. I know Deborah's going to be here. I can't wait to see her, my dear friend. Let's see. Kathy says, the makeup will be so nice. When I first put my Sandy Silver on, I thought, what colors do I want to wear with this? Exactly. Exactly. So Danielle and I are handling that for you. Let's see, Kathy, I have Selma, and I love the way you have her styled. Sheila. This is it's all just the fingers. I hardly ever take the brush to it. It's just the fingers. And Sheila likes her bangs long. Like she wants them in her eyes. I like my eyelashes to hit my <laughs> you know, it's, ah, it's like having a sister that's Lucille Ball. She's always fun. Um, I enjoy my wigs. I'm true lifelong customer, that's for sure. Kathy says, great idea, gift certificates. Yes. I mean, any amount anybody wants to buy, especially, you know, if you know someone that's going through chemo or alopecia or having financial challenges, a lot of people are. And I know that sometimes churches get together and they rally and raise money and buy certificates for someone in their church that could help use a wig and everyone puts in ten dollars or whatever and you can really make you know a huge difference in other women's lives and that's what danielle and i and our women were always thinking about and i know all of you what a loving bunch Seals, hi from Arizona. Palm Springs flowers. I have a topper, but I'm thinking about getting a wig. Did you ever wear a top piece sheet? No. And my hair is not that thick on top, and my hair is on the thin side. And for me, the wigs were just easier, more convenient, and the look that I wanted was easier to come by through a wig. Oh, you talk to them. I'm going to grab something. 
Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Just threw me under the bus here. I'm back. Okay, good. Because I really want to look like sisters right now. Okay. So we have we have never both been gray at the same time. No, no. So I just keep my wigs on. Just I pull down on my ear tab, shove a bobby pin, one on each side. But I am so nuts about our freedom and the gray freedom in moonlight. Is and this this is moonlight? Yeah, I gotta grab my water. Oh, I haven't tried a moonlight yet. And if you think I'm going to pull my wig off to put another one on, you've got a big mistake in hand. Uh, I put my wig on and that's it. I'm comfortable wearing it. Okay, so this Let's is the see. point where Danielle would normally run away. But I love wetting my wigs. There we go. Now. Ta -da. Hey, wait. Oh my God. Let me see. You like? Wow. Wow. Oh, yes. 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 But you know what? It's just about the attitude. Right? I know where you where would you want. I figure everybody's walking around with wild hair. I wouldn't look good in that. Oh, try it. You don't know till you try. Ladies, so if you're not sure, grab, purchase a few wigs and return what you don't like instead of making yourself nuts with your, what one color, what one color. Here we have a great return policy. Just don't change it. Order a few, take your time with it, post the pictures on Facebook. I mean, that's what we're all about. And let the women get their coaching, get their suggestions. But this is Moonlight. Very cute, very cute. I'm not whipping, you want to try? I'm not whipping mine off to try it. Can I sit Come on, sit down. All right, she. I'm going to get you up and we'll, we'll come back to you and say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> oh, wait. She'll wait. Be back. She, you, you're like, no, you're you sitting. Uh, we have been talking for a no, while. Let us I am, I am, listen to me. I am asking you my place. <laughs> I, tell you this I am the director of this show. <laughs> am I the director of this show? And I like to control things. I can tell you already. <laughs> We're going to get along just great. <laughs> I love this. So tell me your name again. Because we haven't met. Lynn, that's what I thought. Okay. So you ready? So let me put it on. Are you here. ready? I am always Are ready. Aren't I? I am always ready. Let's go. So, Lynn, see, I call a woman like you courageous because you're creative and you're courageous. I already know that about you. So, And I'm very controlling, too. Well, it's all a choice we make, isn't it? So up at the hairline and even the tabs, and there you go. Look at yourself. So the bangs typically, this is freedom. This is freedom in moonlight all. So... What do you think? So, you know, when I coach people or they come and see me in the store on the studio, okay, not your thing. It's to when you're looking at a new color and you're used to seeing yourself one way for decades and decades and decades, it's so easy to get stuck in a box. We make everything else wrong just because it's different. So, the way I help myself is I don't make different equal wrong. I just let different equal different. And then I might change my makeup. I might have a different lipstick. I might have a different blush. It takes a little time to adjust. So when you get one of our new wigs, you get a wig in, the whole thing is don't put it on and go, Seth, I don't like it, and you're done with it. Give, give the wig some time and the color to connect with you. That's all. That's all. So yes, if I was walking in a mall and I saw you in like this, I would just think, wow, she's got cool hair. That's all I would think. So it's it's a you're not used to it, right? I'm gonna try the other one on now. Oh, let me go get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so I need my glasses. I think they're over here somewhere. Black glasses. Maybe. Yes. So this may be a little bit out of your comfort zone. Too much. Yeah. Okay. And and too gray. So what do you all think? I love that color on you. Looks good. You see? So sorry, I'm missing this. I bought my first wig at the store almost three years ago. Melectra, when Tiffany helped me, it's fun to watch the wigs on a live stream. Oh my God. I'm so glad you're here. We'll say hi to Tiffany. All right. So let's go. Okay. So Lynn was looking. Are you going to put it on? And I'm going to prepare my hair. Yeah. You got to shake, shake, shake first. Is that what you like to do? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The wilder, the better. Oh, you sound like me. So this is Freedom in Nutmeg F. See, and I'm going to let you control the wig on your head. I'm not even going to try and fix it for you, much as I, I'm holding myself back right now. But I like my hands. This looks really great. I love it on you, Lynn. Michelle, did you mean the Nutmeg F or the uh, Moonlight R? Looks good. So natural. Suits your glasses. Looks great on her, Lynn. Judith, you look good in gray. Lynn, you look good in gray. It looks beautiful on her. So they're loving moonlight on you. And so they're loving, that one. They're loving moonlight. Now they're just starting to mention. Let's hear. They're not me. Moonlight. Moonlight. Love the moonlight R. Love the moonlight. 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 Yeah. Yeah, she's grabbing it from me. I'm going to have to find something else to put on. This might be. We could do this all day. No, this, this might be. We might have to start our own TV network and have 24 hour wig trying on. Lucky for you, it's not on our bucket list tonight. On my bucket list. Just cross off makeup. We got to get a bucket So, yes. So don't make it wrong. You're not used to it. Lynn, love the moonlight R. Love the moonlight R. Moonlight. Moonlight on Lynn. Lovely. Wow. Makes you, Michelle says, makes you look sassy. That's what you like. That's a sassy girl. That's the look that I want. Yeah. Yeah. It's hot. You know, I wore my moonlight. I have that wig. I wore this top to a very fancy event about a month ago. And I pumped this baby up. I spritzed it with water. I used our low alcohol hairspray and it was nuts. Like I love it crazy. I got so many compliments and I felt like a, I felt like a celebrity. I felt beautiful. I felt outrageous, but in a pretty way. You know, I got you. We're Hi. two of a kind. You Hi. Wear wigs on most of the time. Sorry. You wear your wigs most of the time. On and off, whenever the mood hits me. I also wear pieces. I wear many pieces because I'm starting to receive, like you can see here. Yeah. So I wear every top. I long top. I have my hair dyed to be creamy toffee on. Yeah. So I take my hair piece to my hairdresser. Uh -huh. I always say while I'm holding it, please keep me or make me this color. Because to top colors at a hair salon, they're near impossible to get what you want. But wait a minute. Are you allowed to dye this? No, you don't dye this, but let's say here. Let's say this is my favorite all-time wig. This is Freedom and Nutmeg. Nutmeg F. I like that. And so I when I first had Nutmeg F, oh, I was going crazy. So I take the wig, I either wear it into the hair salon. So do I. Or I take it in a bag with me and I will say, Brady, I love you, my hairdresser. Please make my hair this color. Okay. And the same with pieces. So because we can't offer a billion hair colors, 
but that's what women have all over the world. So we're we're still a business. Let's see. I actually, love nutmeg F on you. Actually, you look like Ruby, Ruby Wax. To be honest, great I glasses like on both of you. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I think we're two crazy girls. Yeah. I, I'm just meeting you for the first time. No, but I think you're much crazier than I am. It I'm is hot. Bit Mary. Hey, Mary Baroni. Same. That's a compliment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put another color jacket honestly, on her. Green is I'm gonna not try this on one color. more time. All right. That one. I'm going to try that on one. Thing. Let's do it. This is Here, true. let's switch. Yeah. That's it's just true. Yeah. And, you know, some women, they choose differently. They want to stay a little closer to their comfort zone. See, you're dark. First, we put nutmeg F on Lynn. She's like, oh, it's too light. But then after putting moonlight on her, this isn't so shocking, is it? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I'm some like getting used to it. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah, that's amazing. You look good in every color. Every color. Thank you. I was <laughs> This girl's feeling good. Let's see. I know, yeah. Mary. What is the wig name? We are both wearing Freedom Wig. I'm wearing it in Moonlight R. The R means rooted. And this is one of our new grays. And Lynn is wearing Freedom in Nutmeg F. F is also a rooted. So these are in the rooted section of Freedom. These are average size wigs. Average, yes, average size. That's and you can adjust our wigs, of course, make them bigger or smaller if you need to. Yes. So Freedom. You look very, very nice in that. But I think I look very, very nice in this one. I'm getting used to this one. You look really good. Yeah. Let's see. Diana I says, I have many wigs, but I'm always going back to Tiffany in Nutmeg App. So that's pretty cool. Okay, thank you so much thank you for joining us. Say bye to everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> I can't hear you. Light. Lindsay, hey, bend down and say hi to everybody. Okay, go. Hold on, I'll be right back with you. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. And this is my friend Glenda who Glenda I didn't put you on at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Glenda, sit down here for one second. Oh, you're gonna be on video. I don't know if you what? Want no, to. no, 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 what do you mean on video? No, I'm just Oh, okay. Sure it's already right. okay. I'm gonna show you our newest. No, not our newest. This is Sydney. I want to show you the difference between Sydney and our brand new wig, Parker. So this is Sydney. So up at the hairline. Okay, never the middle of, see? No, up at the hairline, even the tabs. So this is Sydney, and she sits flat. She's a lower density wig. Which we've been bringing more in. Check you like Sydney? I didn't hear you. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, okay. And this is our brand new Parker. Which is that? Lace front. This is our brand new Parker. Lace front. Parker. So close to the head. So great. Hi. 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 Hi.
She said she could go for me. I wonder if it was the hair. Here I am in Sydney and Sydney Salon. We're going to compare and then I lost it. Oh, people are loving Parker. So Parker is available in a bunch of great colors and she is a lace front and a monofilm, which is really cool. Just like Sydney Salon is lace very nice. I lost it. I wanted to compare the style, but this is so much fun. I hope you're all feeling like you're here for those of you who couldn't. For those of you who couldn't, um, I love it. And I'll hang out today. Now I'm going to put that phone on to left me back on my phone. So, Sydney, that I was wearing, that is the sandy silver color, which is the darker gray, and it has a lighter gray. So, what I've been wearing today is our 22 inch top. It's getting loud in here. 22 inch top, so it has four clips, and this one has bangs pre cut in, and it's very low. Sydney was in the sandy silver color. It comes in a lot of great colors, but the one I just had on was this. So I hold it. And then up here, yes, I'm short. And then the back two flips. And that's it. Super simple. It has these great bangs. And I love it. I always think about cutting bangs in my own hair, and I know I'm going to regret it the minute I do it. So I love getting to wear the 22 inch top of bangs. We actually made this piece because all the other pieces were too short for my hair. I like I have very long hair, and so we made this specifically. So, uh, and I know you all love it. So I it. I love it. Ladies are coming in and out. Um, a topper with bangs that would go with your white hair. Have to look online. Is your hair um, for the boys' home? What length is your hair? Um, like I know we do the tailor top in moonlight, which is. This is the moonlight color, not with the roots, it's without roots, but it's just very, very light gray. So that would be a good option if you're wanting your bangs. Um, thank you, love that. You said you both are beautiful and look great in all your ways. Everybody that came today got a Godiva Secret goodie bag. <laughs> so I've got to put my hair back on. Oh, this is a parting gift that I can yes. get. I don't, I don't want to be stealing my hair. No. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Well, I've got to talk to the Thank you. And I'm so happy I got to have you too. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to join the three inches below your shoulder. Yeah. So I was so nice to actually meet you as opposed to that very brief moment when. And okay, so. All right. Here's your Oh, you're bending down. Oh, yeah, you have to see you now. Okay. Uh, so the boy's mom, you were saying about two to three inches below your shoulder with bangs and white. So I would look at the tailor top in moonlight. It's probably going to be the best that length with bangs. We also do a mono long top in white. You just have to trim a bang into that. Um, mid length topper with bangs. So yes, I would look at like I was saying to the boy's mom, uh, Taylor top is wonderful with bangs. And then Emma top is another great one with bangs. She's a little short. She's to maybe here and she has like a slight, slight wave. Um, but I know I love the toppers with bangs also. Just because I don't have bangs. 
Um, yeah, I'm here right now, so if you have any questions, I can try and answer as many as possible until I get pulled away. You're welcome. A moment to rest. Right in, what are your questions? I'm here for you. And we will be here until three o'clock, so a little less than two more hours. So we'll be coming in and out. Um, long petite wigs. So we do have petite Mariah. I don't know if you've seen it, but we have our petite Mariah. We're definitely working on, right now, we're working on petite freedom. And then just kind of going to keep adding, of course, to the largest and petites. Uh, mono tailor top and frosted top. I don't have one here specifically. Um, does Jenna come in grace? Jenna comes in silverstone. Silverstone gray. Sabrina in gray. I know Sabrina comes in silverstone. Um, definitely, I'm sure we'll keep expanding her as well. Oh. Look up, I am wearing. These are for sale for $10. What happened to the Sandy? What happened to Sandy? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm wearing the 22 inch top with bangs in the coffee latte bar color. Can you use a hot airbrush on toppers? Absolutely. So you can use the hot airbrush on any of our wigs and toppers. It's the only heat we recommend, and it is seriously the best. So absolutely. Um, other than Midnight Pro, which wig slash color has the most dramatic highlighting? I'd say the Marble Brown H is definitely has like a chunkier, more dramatic highlight. Um, also, Chocolate Frost has a lot of the lighter mixed with deeper, but sometimes the deeper is more like the underneath color. Um, yeah, pretty freedom. Oh, hello. Hello. Here we have Veronica. They're coming in a little bit. A couple, okay. So, and Veronica is part of our Facebook group, and you are wearing Nina. Right? Nina in oh, so Ginger Brown. Ginger Brown. And will you share a little, and, and she was just telling me such great stuff. You know, when I'm shooting videos, I had to drag her right over. And please share, because these are your women. Okay. And what you were sharing with me. So, we all have, when we're first starting to wear wigs, we have a confidence problem. And coming here today with everybody, everybody's wearing a wig. And we all look so, I want to call it normal, right? <laughs> Nobody knows. We're looking at each other and we, we're fabulous. And so when we go out now, I have a lot more confidence. I know I look fabulous. And when I go out with other people, they're not going to know. Not at all, because we're sitting here and we're seeing everybody in wigs and we don't know. Right. So it's been a wonderful experience and I will never give up my wigs. And when you're traveling, ooh, fabulous. So when you travel, do you take one wig? Oh, no, I take three. You take three. I take three. This is my dinner, especially in all the Like This is like my dinner wig. Okay. And then I have a shorter one. <clears throat> And I wear with square hair bands, square bands or something, and um, and then I have another casual one. This isn't it so, fun? I love and you. Don't ever have to worry about the wind blowing right. on your shirt, and your hair doesn't look good because your hair always looks fabulous, right? Even in the wind, and you don't worry about going kayaking or swimming. It, it, Absolutely not at all. Because you have the freedom to. You have the freedom if you have freedom. But I'll I'll get dirty and dusty and off roading. And jump in the shower, my hair is slipped back, wet, damp. I put a wig on, I put my dressy outfit on, and I go. I and go to I go to Aquafit, so I go to the pool and I go okay. to the pool in my wig. You do I have a Valerie, and the Valerie is shorter. So if you know if you're thinking you're in the pool a little bit wet. But um, nope, I wear my pool, I wear my wig to the pool, I went to the gym, I wear it to garden, but I have different ones. So you have your go-to, you have your garden wig, and you have the gym wig. Piano says, you look fabulous, Veronica. Well, I love it. Thank you. It's, um, yeah, I would never give up my wigs. This is so true. I also took three wigs on a month-long trip out west, Kathy says. Loved it. No worries. Exactly. exactly. Oh Everybody gosh. has to get back and take a shower and do their hair. And I'm just laughing. Right. And you yeah, know what's, what's so fun when I go... 
I love to bring a red, a brown, a blonde, a long, a short, whatever. And every night at dinner, mm -hmm. I wear different colors I'm and I blow everybody's mind. And so when I was married, my husband would get a little bored because the conversation would always end up being about wigs. And, but it's so fun because it's freeing to and just be who you want to be. And if you haven't met the people, they don't know. Nobody knows. Right. So, right. The so one thing, if you're going to swim, not, you know, if you get caught in chlorine water, you want to rinse your wig off right away because chlorine is very drying on the fibers. So rinse it, even if it's just a little on the bottom, unless you don't care, do whatever you want. But I always like to talk about thank you. Thank you, boy's mom. Do you like my glasses? <laughs> um, it's it's great. You can sit in a pool, you, you know, go be in the heat, go do whatever. We did the um, Boise, Idaho. They have a river. My daughter took us down, you know, you float the river. Oh, float the river in the wig. <laughs> float the river in your wig. I like that. That's a good, that's a good song title. I float the river in my wig. So it's been a really great experience. So Thanks, thank Debbie. Great. Well, thank you so thank much. You so much. much. Oh, and the videos. Thank you. And I've got to, I've got to go get Veronica a goodie bag. So one of us will be back in a couple of minutes. I'm Christy. I know 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 Christy. I so, a little girl talk. So, okay. Please share who you are. Oh gosh, are we doing a video right now? Yeah, we are live around the world right this moment. Oh my This gosh. is Christy, and the first time I met her, we did a haircutting event here. Isn't that what you were here for? Correct. Yes. And she came in leopard. Didn't she have leopard I glasses did. too? I did. Yes. Oh, well, I actually have these on that I have on right now. They okay. just stand out more when I'm wearing. I love them. Boy, the, the glasses yes. being shown today. Yes. We should start an eyeglass business. <laughs> But what wig are you wearing? I want everybody to know. I am wearing Erin. 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 I love it. So did you trim the bangs? I actually came in. That's when your shop was still open here. And I believe it was Tiffany. Okay, she trimmed. Yes. Okay. So I came in for her to trim okay. because I'm used to having bangs. Wow, looks good. And she's, I usually like more height. I have. Okay. A, I own about 11, 12 that I have a Dues. That's another thing. I don't call them wigs. They deserve okay. more credit than that. I love it. So what are they? Your dues. Dues. Your dues. Okay. My family okay. knows. My family. My friends. Everybody knows. They are called dues. Remember in the fifties and sixties. Oh, I love your do. I love your up to. They deserve that. That respect. Yep. Yes. I agree. Well, you look beautiful. Well, thank you. I'm, I didn't know I was going to be videotaped. Otherwise, yes. I would have worn leopard print. There are and women I'm... here from all over. Erin, <laughs> what color? I believe. Seek is asking. I think she's in honey. Is it the honey wheat? Oh, maybe. Yes, honey wheat. Honey wheat. Because look at the same color. She's a little, a little darker in the back. Well, uh, yeah, a little lighter at the top and then yeah. darker, but it, she's rooted. Which okay. is what I love. Oh, I love. Wow. I love the rooted. That looks great. I don't on think you. I have any that aren't rooted. I love the natural. Okay. And so, what is your normal hair color? Well, before it got funkyish, several different colors. It was blonde. I was a blonde. Okay. So a lot of mine are in your toffee cream. 
Um, creamy toffee. Cream. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. right. A lot you of them are in your blonde selection, I should say. Okay. I do have Christy, and I believe she's in chestnut. And I wear her in December because she's red and chestnut. Oh, yeah. It's fun <laughs> to go red for the holidays. She's, yes. She's she's actually probably a little bit darker than the one you're wearing. Okay. Yes. And that would be exactly chestnut. Yes. Because I'm an Irish spice R. Oh, I had her in Bella. Okay. But you discontinued Bella, but I did have her Irish spice in okay. Bella. I can yes. see that on yes. you. Wow. Oh, yeah. I like Erin. They have to go on my wish list. Okay, <laughs> Sue. Red for Christmas. Great idea, piano. <laughs> I'm so glad you're having fun, Luca. Yes. Yes. So how long have you been wearing wigs? Um, I retired about six years ago, and I've always had very fine, baby fine hair, um, but it got really bad just about the time I retired. And I was a blonde, but I started coloring it a red because that way my scalp wouldn't show through, and it was really getting hard to kind of hide the scalp. Okay. Um, so I started wearing red, and that's when I started wearing dews in your red colors, your Irish spice, your chestnuts. Um, and then my husband was like, well, hey, what about the summertime? Why don't you go back to being your blonde? Well, he loves blondes. He loves That's blondes. a good hobby. <laughs> Yay. So yeah, it was, um, he just was ready for me to go back to blonde. So I have Quinn and a very blonde color. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very blonde. She's short. She's cute for the summertime. I, love that. I have Selma. I have, um, oh my gosh, what are all the other ones? Oh, I had Freedom, but I believe I brought her in for you to donate. To donate. But um, yeah, so I have I have so many. Oh my God, what is, Selma, what, what's the other one that starts with an S? So, so uh, anyway, I should have brought the list with me and I would have been prepared. Sorry. But I am typically naturally a blonde. But I love red. I just kind of. Give me one minute. I just want to see. Ladies, do any of you own Jamie and Billy? I wonder if Jamie has as much hair as Billy or is she lighter? Okay. I, I'm, hold on. I'm going to put. Did you ever see Jamie, our wig? Do you ever go a little longer? You've asked me that. No, I do not. Freedom was the longest one I've okay. ever worn. I'm going to I don't know if you want to take your wig off. No, okay. probably not. So I'm Thank you for asking that. Absolutely. I wasn't prepared for that. I do not just do <laughs> whip rings. Well, sometimes I have. You know, Danielle and I used to work shows across the country, women's expos. And we would have, I when I needed to take a break, I just left my wig on. And when I was ready to work, all I had to do was flip a couple of wigs. We'd have 30, 40 women. And they all wanted to try. So I'm like put one on, put one on, fix it up, put one on, and um, I'm used to whipping wigs off. Well, I would have been prepared if I had dyed what little hair I have, so I wouldn't oh. look so weird. <laughs> so this is Jamie. Oh, this is Jamie. This is our new Jamie. I want to make sure I have the ear tabs on the right, and let me just try it. So... Here is Jamie, and this color is Marble Brown H, which is beautiful. Isn't it a pretty color. Look, she is, and I love the back. She's very natural with some blonde. Beautiful, right? Yes. So, for those of you that had a question, so yes, Jamie is thinner than Billy, and uh, love it. So. Well, thank you for joining us today. You're absolutely welcome. It was my pleasure. Oh, it honey. was my pleasure. We have meatball sandwiches <laughs> and we have fruit and veggie dish. Don't dough. forget to look at her famous selection of dues in all her famous colors. And I'm telling you, ladies, if it wasn't for her dues, I don't know what I would do. I'm a vain woman. I was and proud of it. <laughs> For you? Yes, corporate America for decades. And when the hair was thinning and my husband found that I have a secret. Really? Online, yes, because I was like, honey, I gotta do something. This is this is not looking good. Um I live in that. I'm so glad. Yes. I'm so glad. Thank you for sharing. Of course. I'm so good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Thank you for inviting me. And come meet some of oh, our other and next wig time women. I'll print if I think that and you're videoing. Well, me. we're going to make a video still, and we're both we going to do it in that. leopard. We are doing it in leopard for sure. 
All right, we'll be back in a little bit. So I'm just going to show you while I have these wigs here. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. So the difference between the brushes, the bristle brush versus the wire brush, which one is better on the synthetic? Well, we carry them both because they're fine. But I end up using this much more. I like it for brushing. And if I'm brushing, I always brush from the bottom and work my way up. I don't yank it because that will start to stretch the fiber, stretch the curl out. So, you know, so the whole idea is keeping that fullness. So I always start at the bottom. And if sometimes in the back, when you wear a wig and you're, you're wearing knotty fabrics or cottons, it'll get a little knotty right here. I brush it there first. The other, the bristle one is more for teasing. I say more for short hair, short wigs. This I use for teasing. No, we're not selling anything, but they can pop it in the mail. You can order it from the corporate office. Yeah, so so we're not selling any product. We're here to connect with other wig wearers on Facebook. I'm going to put a Kayla on in vanilla bean. I want you to see. So we're we're live right now, and we've got women from Egypt, from all over, all the states right now. And so I just want to show you. 
So this is Kayla. And when I get a new wig, I like to try it parted both ways. Like women will say, well, can I change the part? Well, when I get a new wig, I always try everything. And try it over here. But Kayla is a lace front wig. So look, look at this. Is that unbelievable? I need my glasses to read your comments. Let's see. You're debating between Jamie and Julia. Both are lace front and partial mono. Oh, I can't say. I mean, I really suggest order the couple of wigs that you're thinking about and return the ones you don't want. But it helps to see a group that you're thinking of all at the same time. Even take pictures and post those pictures on our Facebook group and then let the other women, you know, so many times we see ourselves and we, we, we're so critical of ourselves and we judge ourselves as wrong. So I would say use the Facebook group when you purchased a few wigs and you want different opinions. And that's a, a great way to go. Um, Deborah, I have never worn a wig, but watched you for the last year. I want to, because by the end of a work week, I need something. Yeah, why, why wait till the end of the week? But have some fun and explore all those other women that are in you that want to have a chance to come out. I mean, I, I do something called parts work, and it really helps me. You know, there's those parts of us that are always up front and we think those are the best parts of ourselves running the show and then there's these parts over here that we keep kind of pushed down or no they're not appropriate or whatever reason and so the parts work that i do is inviting those up you know there's a flashy rochelle there's a conservative rochelle there's a mother rochelle there's a grandma rochelle there's a sexy rochelle and Wigs are so magic for me because they help me express all those women in me. Instead of just being one woman, we're all multidimensional human beings. So wigs are just, I still love them even this day. And it's been over 45 years that I've been wearing them. Let's see, can Sabrina part be changed? Well, I'm going to put one on and show you in just a minute. Could we see a topper or a longer wig in frosted taupe? Yes. Let me grab it. I'll be right back. So we just got in our large size Diana, and this one happens to be frosted taupe. So here you go. So up at the hairline, also lace front, Diana. So many of you wanted her in large. And I'll tell you, I'm an average size. And this large is like so comfortable and loose. If you feel that a wig is too tight on you, and we do it in a large, why not go for it? Sorry, frosted taupe. Voice texting is not good sometimes. Here's frosted taupe. Let me show you. This is Diana. She's so sweet. And I just grabbed her and I just threw it on. Wow, Rochelle, you look 10 years younger. In which wig? <laughs> wow. So here is Frosted Taupe. My fave Diana, Terry says. Does it look gray? Well, <sighs> Frosted Taupe, you don't necessarily look at it and think gray but it is on the ash, on the cool end. So here is Silverstone. Here's Silverstone. Here's Frosted Toe. So I don't know if that helps you. You're so welcome, Palm Springs Flowers. So Frosted Toe, Silverstone. There you go. 
Now I want to show you a wig I love. This is Christy and Chocolate Frost. There's a whole party going on, and I just want to talk to all you girls. So here's how it starts. Don't freak out. Just slowly, slowly bring it up to your hairline. And then I always work around my face first. But I love the sexy little dip. Let's see, we want to wear it this way. There you go. So when I'm trying, I always try parting both ways. Because sometimes I get a look. It might not be for all the time, but sometimes I'm in the mood for a different look. And I get that. So here's Christy. But I like, I love this long piece. It's so sexy to me. <laughs> so there's other stuff going on here. I'll just show you. <laughs> We've got more visitors and they're trying wigs on. And it's an open house. So people are coming in and out. And um, just want to share with you. Thank you, boys, mom. I can wear anything and look great. Thank you. It's really, I think, just the attitude because women are walking around with all kinds of hair colors and haircuts. And a wig just blends in. It's like anything else. Oh, I see this hair sticking out there. But I love, I love this little craziness. And I want to spritz water on everything because it makes it piecier to me. So if, when you brush a short wig and it kind of looks bouffant, that's just because you brushed it. So take some water and spritz it. And that will start separating the hairs. And then if you like that, then spritz a little of our low alcohol hairspray. And thank you, Terry. Christy's so cute. Yes, it is chocolate frost. Look at the color. Kathy, you're debating frosted taupe. You have a couple of sandy silver toppers and not sure if frosted taupe would be too light. Well, here's the thing. For me, I'm always reminding clients for a top piece, the top of your hair is going to be covered. You're not going to see what color you are up there. So go for the match of the hair that is going to be brushed with the piece or a little bit under the piece and going lighter is great because it makes sense that darker is under the piece and then your lighter is in front. So that's what I would suggest for you. Okay? Okay, well, I tried a different one on for you. Oh, look at you. Only because I love this color, but I never wear gray. But isn't this Kelly? Isn't this the style of Kelly? Silver style. She's beautiful. Wow. She looks great on you. She is beautiful. Can you see that? I would have never selected this color. Ever. So she's how did you try it? What made me try it? Because she's a style I think that I was looking into. Kelly, I think. I would obviously need the bangs cut. But she is just so yeah. Isn't Shelly is one of my favorites? And now you would ask me if I had tried her. Yeah. And I said no because I don't think you had the color that I was looking for. So you ran the this one at home. Oh my god. Yeah. Really, interesting. Yeah, love it. Yeah, and I like the light in the front and the dark in the back. Oh right? yeah, I'm big about I'm big about death and men. You know, I like the light in the back. Anyway, I'm sure Thank you. Oh, I want to show you some of our new pieces that we've got here. Hey, come say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is um, Mariah Petit. Oh, Petit. Mariah. Will you sit down with me a minute? Okay, sure. And we haven't met, I don't think. My name is Paulette. Paulette, I'm Rochelle. Rochelle, I know. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, me too. Well, okay, so. Right now, Paulette looks a whole bunch better than me. I gotta put a wig on. So, 
Mariah. And the ginger brown. And ginger brown. So is this the main wig that you wear, or do you wear some different styles? I have the wrist too. A little shorter. You go shorter. This one's a little bit long. Oh, I love this on you. And I like to kind of put it back a little bit. Yeah, I love what you did. It's so fun here today because everybody here's got wigs on. And we're all so comfortable, but you don't even look at each other thinking, whoa. Oh, no, no. No, this, um, by watching you guys, I got more comfortable huh. wearing wigs while my own hair goes out. Really? So how did you find us? Um, I think just online. Okay. Yeah, just the different brands I was looking at. Okay. And yeah. are you local here? I live in Los Angeles, Playa del Rey. So, okay. So 40 and you drove. Drive, yeah. 40 minute drive. And I think the next one I want to get is like maybe kind of a softish blonde for fun. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> see if blondes have more fun. Well, know. we need to make a video sometime. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what everyone's saying. Oh, gosh. Let's see. What color and name was the wig? Oh, this is Mariah. 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 This and, uh, is Ginger Brown. Petite Mariah? Petite. Yeah. Petite Mariah. So do you find you cannot wear average? Oh, no, I can well, wear both. Yeah, you wear both yeah. sizes. Either one. I have kind of a, a little bit smaller, but yeah, I can wear both. Great. Yeah, because Rochelle, we don't do in petite. Oh, yeah, no, she fits nice, too. So, so that's a great tip, too. Um, you don't have to be stuck on a certain color. You can always make it tighter or a little bit looser. So thank you, Valerie, for saying I look 12 years younger. I don't know what wig you're talking about. But <laughs> hi, Paula. That looks great. Well, thank you. After this, I'm going to a white party, so that's why I'm dressed in white. Oh, super. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd probably be wearing all black. Super, <laughs> super. So you're on our Facebook group? I am, yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a few pictures on there. Good. So, thank you. It's so very nice meeting you. Thank you. And the, the majority of these women are our Facebook group from Egypt, from all over the country. Oh, yeah. Right now. Well, the dive away. <laughs> Nice Great. Meeting everybody. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. And we'll be back. I'll be back in a few minutes. Take, gonna take a quick little break, although I hate to leave you all. Ay, ay, ay. This is like 10 cups of coffee, girls. <laughs> Here, let's see. Where can I put you? Let's see. Maybe you can watch there a little bit. Kelly is the best. Looks great on Christy. Christy looks like good round the house. Christy is a sexy wig. Great. I just said I'm going to have to take a break because I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I have not eaten anything. Yeah. I want to get Debbie here. And let's see. What's yeah. It's already 20 to 2. We have another hour to go. <laughs> Remember, 
Or uh, Valerie says you look about 12 years younger. In what? I'm guessing with whatever you were wearing last time, maybe this one. In what, Valerie? Said, in what? what color and name was that wig? What, what were you just wearing? This one, maybe? Oh, I had Christy on in chocolate frost. I had Kayla on in blonde. You mean the short one? I need to know. I know, right? I mean, when someone says I look, I look 12 years younger, I need to know what it was. I'm gonna, will you grab the um, the mosaic oh powder? Sure. Somebody wants to know about it. Piano Forte, I see you want to need to talk about the mosaic face powder. I'm just going to go grab it so you can, or Michelle's grabbing it so you can see it. And then in a second, we have Debbie, who, Debbie Turco, who I know you've seen on our video. She's going to come sit with you for a few minutes. So this is our mosaic. It's always backwards. Mosaic face powder. So it's really cool. It has all these different colors that are great for neutralizing. So I actually wore it this morning. So what I did is after my foundation, I use like a big, a big blush brush kind of. And I do like a C on this side and a C on this side, and then kind of all over my face, my neck, and it really just neutralizes kind of any red tones or other uneven skin tones. So it's kind of an all over powder. Uh, 
I have it on today. I uh, hope that helps. And we are going to start doing videos with the makeup. I actually, this morning when I put my makeup on, besides my foundation and my mascara, everything else was our makeup. So I actually did a quick video putting it on, which I will put out hopefully later this week. Uh, Linda wants to know, can the Sabrina part be changed? Yes. It's machine taste. You can really kind of move it any way you want. Um, sometimes if it's the opposite of the way it's been going, you just kind of need to train it, kind of brush it that way for a couple days, and it will start staying that way. Um, you can put it on top of other makeup powder use. Yes, you can put it definitely on top of. I put it on top of my um, foundation, but I put it first, and then I put my blush over it. Where did Debbie go? I lost her. Oh, there she is. Debbie will be here. Debbie, I'm ready for you whenever you are. <laughs> so everyone, here we have Debbie, who I know you recognize from her videos. Debbie has been a client of ours for, we're trying to figure out, over 20 years Probably at least um, that, yeah. And up until a few months ago, she only wore one white style, Michelle, and now she is ventured out. And now wearing Taylor, yes, in Irish spice. same color, Irish spice. Yes. <laughs> also, it's baby steps, <laughs> right? But she looks amazing oh, in every. And step. we're going to be trying all these on. Yeah. So we have a couple different Irish spice wigs. I think that Debbie's going to try on. I think for you right now. Yes. Okay. So let's see. I don't remember what this That's is. Jenna, Jenna, which is the one I just told you. Right now. She's wearing Taylor, which has a little bang. She trimmed the bang a little bit more. I did trim my bangs. Um, but it did start with a bang. Yep. All right. And now, um, if Terry asked, does Taylor have a lot of bangs? I like a thin bang. So it really starts out with a pretty thin bang yes. that you can even brush to the side. It's, it's similar to like the bang I have on right now yeah. that you can brush to the side. Yep. And the way I've seen Rochelle do it is like she'll part it and then she'll tease it up a little bit so your bang sweeps, but it stays put. So that's an option too. I just love bangs. Yeah, and then she cut the bangs just a little short. I'm just a weirdo. No, I love bangs. All right, hold up. This is Jenna, Jenna also in Irish space. Same color. Oh, this is a lot of hair. <laughs> oh, but I like it. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. So there's the no bangs. Right. Like she no cut, cut bangs, bangs, but yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I like the length. Mm -hmm. A little more, it's a little shorter, a little like wispy here. It's yeah. very nice and light though. I have to say the difference yeah. in in just even with my Taylor, which is lighter than my Rochelle. Right. This is really Yeah, and this one's kind of cut away from the face a little bit right here. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cute. This is fun because you can, it's a, a better summer option. Right. You know, when you're not wanting to. to Terry thinks it anymore. looks very good. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Yeah, I really do like it myself as well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Super cute. All right. All right. And so then, that uh, mine. Sabrina. Is this one? Yeah. All right. Now, this is out of my. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely out of what I do. I'm not a short hair girl, but we'll see. Yes. We'll see. Right. So this next one is Sabrina, also in the Irish Spice. This is a really cute A-line page boy. Nice. <laughs> wow. See? It's kind of cute. See? And it has the bang. This is how the bang comes already. So it does have a bang bang. Look how cute this is. We got it. Oh, wow. And it looks great. I just have to show you how I like it. Abigail's And Elise, nice. Abigail's a lace. Oh, see, I haven't done this yet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab that okay. um, marker for you to try. Perfect. No, it's great. All right. So, I don't know what the <laughs> what the, what the consensus is, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have. Oh, I, yes. Is that place nice from? Yes. All right. Well, we're going to try one that I actually fell in love with when we were doing reds before. Oh, okay. So, I'll try it. Yeah. Cool. So, two wigs. We're going to have two other wigs. We're going to have Debbie try. They're both, these are both lace fronts. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to try so this, this one. one is our new wig, Jamie, that I'm sure some of you have seen. I love this one. All right, hold on. 
Oh, Terry said I ordered Christy and chocolate frost a few minutes ago. To see how I like her. Oh, yay, Terry. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is also very lightweight. Yeah, so this is Janie. So she is very low density and oh, lightweight. Golly, and it's so she is, hot. And this is lace front. Yeah. She is one of our newest wig styles and one of my new favorite wigs because I think she just, I mean, She's not a lot of hair, so no. most of you know me. Know me. I like like flatter hair. Um, so for me, Jamie gives me that nice flatness on top, but still a little fullness on the side. Okay, I really like this one too. I don't know. What does everyone think? Ooh, so yeah. And I feel like this might come in Irish spice. I feel like too. Might be ordering a week today. Um, Linda said, "What did Rochelle have on? She had on Abigail, which is a lace front. That was Abigail. That yeah. was in." Uh, I think it was the frosted tote. Yeah, that was in the frosted tote. All right. So this is Jane. Yeah, she is so cute. We turn so I can see the back. Yes. So it's just this really just easy, simple, slight wave back. So it's not like super wave, it's just like a natural look. Jamie looks lovely. I was thinking too with this, because it's such a natural look that it's just... You don't, I mean, it's kind of feel like you just, you get up and brush your hair and right. go out. Maybe scrunched it a little bit. Yeah, just kind of this. Kind of, yeah, you're like, oh, my hair looks great. I didn't do much, you know. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's doing really cool. some, uh, some color checks today. <laughs> All right. And, this is, and then this is Parker. This is a brand oh, new style one. also. Oh. oh. Rochelle is wearing canvas wig and chocolate swirl now. Oh, so that's, is that longer than Taylor? Oh, way longer. Way longer. Okay. This oh, wow. Long. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> there she is. It's lovely. All right. So this, so this is Parker. This is one of our newest styles, and it is a monofilament and a lace work. Oh, wow. I don't like that more. Yeah. I like that. All right. So. And this comes in a lot of really cool colors, too. Okay. Ooh. Hold on, I'll find me here. Right. So it has like a very, very wispy little wing, yeah. which you can yeah. easily brush to the side. Or, or brush to the side, yeah. Exactly. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. Can I have my Jenna back? Yeah, she's oh. right here. Uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Someone said, how snatchable are they? Not exactly sure what you mean. Oh, oh. like, do like, they come off? off? Yeah, I mean, this one's really loose right now, but that's just because I just put it on with the tabs that you can size it. But you want to secure your wigs in ways that you want to do it. We have a video, Danielle made eight ways to secure your wigs. Oh, well, I've seen that, but it's been a while. <laughs> and I'm wearing a Sally one, so I'm wearing our 22 inch top with things. It's in the coffee latte, so it's really, it's still like here. Nice. Just, my hair's here, so. We actually made this piece because all of our other pieces were too short for me. Oh, I wanted to be able to wear a top and I wanted bangs. Yeah. So uh, we made this one so that I had something I could wear with my mom. It's nice. I just love the bangs. Now there's, what's, oh, that one I did. This one you haven't done. I haven't done this one. So the one she's wearing right now is Parker in Silverstone. Parker in Silverstone. Yeah. Monofilament lace. Pretty. I do like the monofilament, but I love the lace. Yeah. All right. And then this one is Katie in Almond Spice. Have you tried? You've probably tried it. I think I have tried Katie. I think I even owned it once and bought it for summer and I liked it. Um, yeah, I do like this. It's been a while. Yeah, I mean, like a long while. It's really cute. I love how you can do it. Yeah, like so many things to it, or pull it around your face if you want a little right. more. She's very like she'll do what you want. You want to yeah. flip her, or you want her to go under. Yeah. And she just kind of she <laughs> likes to do. Yeah, I mean it's just a couple little finger pulls. Well, this is cute. This is cute too. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Barb says she has the Moonlight R and loves it. Oh, we do have the Freedom of Moonlight R here. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, different. Let's do it. Since we're here. Since we're here. It's fun because you don't get to do this very often, right? 
Oh, this is cute. Yeah, so this is Freedom. Uh, some of you know, I'm sure, we have we make it now in two rooted gray colors. We make it in the silver sonar, and then this is the moonlight art. All right, all right, let me do this one. So it's not quite as white. It's like a very, very light gray. Yeah. Sally, you can have my hair. It's a 22 inch tall. There you go. You yeah, so this is the moonlight art. So it's really cool because it's not quite white. No, it's but not it's quite like white, but it's light. I love the roots. Right. right. It's, it's just root. such yeah. a great contrast. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. 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 Just not this. Yeah. We don't go home with that one. It's a calamity. Yeah, so this is so It really is. It really is. Oh, yeah. Look so at the little hair. Yeah. yeah, so that's a really cool car. We just actually started carrying a few of our, like, our mono medium top and our mono long top in the moonlight color, not rooted. But cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Where are we at? Kathy likes this one. I like this one too. Does anyone have any questions for Kathy? Well, she's here. She's open for questions. Yeah. Unlike the videos where you just, you know, watch, you can actually talk to her here. Oh, and just for anyone who's interested, so these are the eyebrows. Oh. That are that the Diva cells. Nice. They're the um, semi semi permanent. They last about three weeks. Um, water's not their friend, so when I take a shower, I have a little shower pat that I'll just you know put so that's over them and pat dry them. But um, yeah, I love them. I hate drawing on eyebrows yeah. more than anything. Yeah, I really like really them. Good. Those natural. Will you go forward so you can see them? Oh sure. Sorry. Here, let me get a little bit closer. So these are the eyebrows. And they're kind of in, I got the medium, like a medium brown, I think, but there's several different colors. I mean, one for like all of the different hair colors. Yeah, and these are like temporary tattoos, basically. So you put it on just like, how long does it last? I can get this, I can get these if it's summer and it's hot and I'm sweaty. It's maybe like a week and a half to okay. two weeks, but like when it's really dry weather-wise, I've had them on for like three weeks at a That's time. Awesome. And then you don't have to worry about, you don't have to think about your eyes. No, That's and that really is cool. such a gift because there's something about, I mean, when you draw them on, they're never going to have this detail. Right. And usually they're crooked. And they're, they're not quite the same. Yeah. I'm like, so I love these. And I get compliments all the time. Oh my gosh, your eyebrows, you want them so beautifully. And I'm like, I did not do that. <laughs> so, yeah. They love your eyebrows. Eyebrows look great. Well, I can't, I don't have my glasses, so I can't see all the questions. It says those brows are thin question marks. So these are, they are temporary tattoos. So they just go straight on. Oh no, I do not at this point. So somebody, Sally asked, do you wear a wig grip to secure your wig? I haven't yet. Um, I think they're not new, new, but they're fairly new to me and my wig wearing experience. So I, I never have. Um, I probably should look into it because there have been times where I've gone out outside. Um, and I've been a little nervous. I mean, it's been good, but I, it's something I've been worried about. So I'm probably not enjoying my experience outside as much as I could. Right. Yeah. Once you have that wig grip on, we've done videos, but I will have it on, and my mom's just like pulling my oh, hair, that's... and like it does not. Come off. Nice. It literally nice. does not come off at all. It's crazy. That's awesome. Patricia just ordered Parker and Chocolate Frost. Anyone that's wearing it, yay! Yay! That sounds lovely. It looks really. Cool. I bet. Yeah, I tried them on. Awesome. Um, Cindy wants to know what are some medium wigs with less hair volume? So the Jamie's you just tried on that definitely. Would you like to try that? No, thanks. I'm kind of taken. No, but I know that I can buy it in the back. It's a toothbrush. Right. Yeah. And we do it in the Silverstone R also. Just on the head over there. Well, you know, the silicone arms are darker eyebrows. Yes, yes. I have to. I actually need to order. Yeah, this is my. I have one more set left. Of the eyebrows. Yeah, we're saying they look. They look so real. I love them. We're going to do a video. Oh, how is Debbie showing how to put our tattoo eyebrows? Because it's really. Yeah. Not anywhere no, close to what you think yeah. it might be. It's not that. It's not that big a deal. It's yeah. just like maybe two minutes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Look, because I have eyebrows. It's hard when I've tried. It's like I put them here or right here, but it's just not the same. You know. So especially you who 
wears them every day. Yeah, like, yeah, I love them. They're my one of my favorite uh, little attachments that go. Perfect. I spent two hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah. 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 But you did. But you did. Yeah. Donna yeah. Marie ordered Dawn and Irish Spice. Ooh, you're going to love it. It looks really good. My favorite color. Yes. Irish. So um, any questions for Debbie before we let her wander, wander, wander around? around? Yes. Ellie says you're looking fabulous. Thank yes. you so much. I appreciate that. It's, interesting. it's been fun. Yes. Always fun to come in front. I do need to be ordering this one. The Jane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I that really like so this. Cute. Gorgeous. I know. I love. She's one of my favorite. Oh, because all of you know I really like black hair. She perfectly. She just comes, she just lays nice and yeah. She's not yeah. a ton of hair, and, and I, I think I'm a more of a flat hair as well. Like the Rochelle is volume, but she still lays the volume is more down here. Right, right. So she still lays relatively like this is great, but it's just more than I used to. Right. Um, Can you put the Jamie back on. I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I definitely will. Liz got Dakota last week in the sangria. Oh, yes. Oh, I bet that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Let's see. All right. Hold on. Let's get this positioned. In. Hi, Liz, by the way. Glad you're doing it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she's just easy. Yeah, perfect. Love it. Yeah. I mean, I definitely would do my bangs back, but that's all right. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. I'll have to think about that now because I kind of like how it looks. Right. It's very nice. Wear it like this for a little while. Wear it and then, the yes. Bangs don't grow back on wigs, so I'll right. probably try it this way for a while. <laughs> Um, Liz is on. Friend Liz. Guided, guided by angels. Liz. Liz! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this one is someone's asked. This is Jamie, and this is the marble brown H color. Yep, which is nice. Yeah, it's, it has this like medium brown with these little like caramel brown highlights. Yeah, yeah. Liz says, "Love you so much, bro." Liz says, "Hey, Rose eating right now. She's hungry. She hasn't eaten yet. So. <laughs> she has been making rounds. Awesome." Yeah. Well, this was fun. Yes, thank you. Thanks, everyone, for Debbie. I'll be here for a second if you have any questions. I'm going to go walk. I know, right? <laughs> All right. This was good. Hi, everyone. The one she just took off, um, she had on, oh, before Janie was Freedom with Roots and Moonlight. Oh, hi from Scotland. Hi, June. Wow. I mean, does this make us attention whores? No. <laughs> no way. No way. Or <laughs> right. Oh, I haven't seen the makeup. Are there different colors? Oh, let us oh boy. You. you stay. I'll go get it. I'll be right back. <laughs> My dear girlfriend, Deborah, is here. I'm going to get her in this chair soon enough. Oh, I'm going to get her in here right now. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Drum roll for Deborah. Oh, see, I need my glasses. Yeah, I can't read anything. Can you say hi to them while I get my glasses? Okay. Oh, here's the other eyeshadow. Oh, hello, everybody. You, know, you were going to show the eyeshadow. I right I'm there. actually in Rochelle and Danielle's store for the very first time. And Rochelle is joining me. <laughs> And I'm loving her color. It makes me want to just rip it off her head. Well, you look red, don't you? I'm losing my voice. Do you hear me? I know. Look, listen. Oh, my God. It's, it's I'm losing my throat. voice. It's, it's sexy now. I'm uh, talking uh, so uh, much. Uh. Have you been talking too much? Have I been talking too much? You can't talk too much. Nonstop. Yes. The deep Come voice on. Is coming out. I know. Oh, my God. The no it's, voice it's, is going to be here tomorrow. Oh, my God. It's the sexy so, voice. This is Sabrina. So... What are you wearing? You look so pretty today. This is McKenna. McKenna. Yeah. No, I don't show McKenna enough. Yeah, this is McKenna. Pretty on you. But you know how, like I am with you, I want to just pull off this pretty up. Judith so says, nice. hello, Deborah. Piano. Hi. Hi, Deborah. Nice color Hi. on you. You oh. look fab. Oh. Where is Owen? I saw you can see how techy I am. Okay. See? You just can't fluff these babies up enough. <laughs> I <laughs> This is why when we get together, it's just a laugh a minute. I know. It's like, it's like, Carol, my friend's like, Deb, you need to like, 
turn it down. down and no, turn it down. That's at like telling us to lower our volume. We just don't. We're not supposed to. <laughs> We're supposed to be noisy. Deborah, you haven't seen. Yeah. Look at my eyeshadow. This oh. is our beautiful, our brand new makeup eyeshadows for certain colors. So we oh. created palettes. <laughs> to go with the color to of the go wig. with whatever color wig oh my goodness and oh, these are that. blushes the oh this is stone. pretty I'll grab the, um, Ooh, I they're like so this. great and you know what i love about them they don't twist because i'm getting arthritis in oh. my thumb it keeps popping. so it's easier just to snap like when we snap our clips i love it <laughs> But great, great, great. We're going to end up doing videos uh -oh. of all this. Stuff. Oh, that looks so pretty. Stuff. So what would you put? Well, obviously, I yeah. make up. Another, you don't we'll even do a video. To, yeah. <laughs> but how many wigs do you own, my Deborah? Maybe. 60? Maybe. 40? 40? 40? 30? 40? But I don't have the color that you have. She doesn't and somebody, have Irish spice. Somebody just took, just took it. Spice. They just took it. Uh oh. I mean, I have to well, it. that's another client. We can't get mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I don't normally wear. In fact, I have this wig. But I don't wear it. She as just much wants to just, touch me. She just wants I, to touch I, me. I can, what can I say? <laughs> it's fun playing. I know. I know. Deborah, you look good. And Rochelle, I'm loving Sabrina in that color. Thank you. Oh, I know. That color is really Thank you. pretty. The only, let's see, Donna Marie says, the only long wig I have right now is Jenna in Silverstone. Oh. When will the makeup be on your site to order, it's Danielle? On there. It's, it's on, on. It's right on. now. Oh, on your up, makeup. If you go in the search bar and just type in Moodiful, M O O D I F E L, it'll open. That's or on the bar, go to accessories, and it says mask gray and makeup, and click on there, and there you will have it. And we are so excited. It's been like two years in the making. Oh. It was one of the items on my bucket list. And that's so good. So Danielle, I mean, you help have, me. Yeah. 